and base is a proton acceptors. So this is a proton donor. This is a proton acceptor. Perfect pair. Uh, so the carboxylic acid group can donate a proton to the NH2 group because one wants to uh, donate a proton and one wants to accept a proton. So they make a perfect pair. So what we get is when this happens, what we get is we get by uh, O2C negative. This is a carboxylate ion because it has donated an H atom and we get an NH3 plus ion. So because it has accepted a proton. So this is a negative ion. This is a positive ion. So all in all, this molecule is neutral because um, it has one negative ion and it has a positive ion as it has a positive negative charge and a positive charge as well. So the charges cancel out and it is neutral. But this ion is called a Zwitter ion. And uh, Zwitter ion is a German word. So uh, it means two ions in one molecule. So it's called a Zwitter ion because we have two ions, one negative and one positive, two charges in the same molecule. And the overall, ch overall charge is zero. So this Zwitter ionic structure is very important when we will, doing, when we will be doing electrophoresis. We will, we will know why this is so important in the same playlist. We will be doing electrophoresis and then we'll know why this is so important. But for now, we need to know that this is called a Zwitter ion. And uh, so what happens is that when, protein, when amino acids, they bond together, they form dipeptides. So another reason why this, uh, these groups are so important is they can bond with each other. So for example, I have, uh, let me erase the slide. For example, I have an amino acid with the side chain R1, H atom, NH2 group, let's just write it like this, and the HO2C, which is the carboxylic acid group. So we have this amino acid and we have another amino acid, which is this. And in this case, the side chain is R2. So the reason, uh, so R, uh, I've written R1 and R2 is to show that the side chains are different. Uh, they can be different, they can be the same, but uh, so they can be, but uh, we can know that different amino acids with different side chains can react as well. So when they react, <coughs> what happens is that uh, if I expand these groups, now let me just expand them and write them. So I will not expand this group. I will not expand this, I will just expand the amine group because this is what we are dealing with right now. And we have, I will expand this group because we are dealing with it. So uh, then we have CH and H2 and they have a side chain R2 attached to it. So. So these are, uh, this is the amine group of this molecule and amine of, this is the amine group of this amino acid and this is the carboxylic acid group of this amino acid. So what happens is that uh, when these two, so these two groups, they react together and when they react together, we have a condensation reaction. So a condensation reaction is in, in which two molecules combine to eliminate a small molecule and a large molecule is formed. So it, this is a condensation reaction because these two combine with, uh, to combine with each other to form water and as a result what we get is This nitrogen atom bonds with this carbon atom as a result. So we get this. So now we so this molecule is called a peptide. And this is because of this bond, which is the amide or peptide bond. So this is called a, an amide link or a peptide link. And this is what connected these two molecules together. So this is called a dipeptide because two of them have reacted 
and join together to form a dipeptide and eliminated a water molecule. But 